Edmund Cartwright by Kyle Massey Early Life Edmund was born April 24, 1743, born in Marnham, United Kingdom. He attended prestigious schools and he graduated from Oxford University. Personal Life Edmund's nationality was British, his occupation was a clergy, he was the son of a wealthy landowner, had an interest in the inventionings happening in the emerging textile industry. He had a brother, John Carwright, who was later to become one of the leaders of the parliamentary reform movement. Inventions. Designed and built machinery capable of spinning yard and thread. By 1790, he had completed a loom capable of weaving wide widths of cloth with complicated patterns. He had established a factory for his looms in 1786. He invented a reaper and wrote pamphlets and essays on animal husbandry and on using manure as fertilizer. He continued to develop new agriculture inventions till his death in 1823. Lastly, his machines could run faster and better and replace manual methods of making woven patterns. Afterlife. Eventually, Edmund went bankrupt and was forced to sell his patents to factories. Cartwright, having lost his patent, petitioned the House of Commons for compensations for others using his design. His claim was supported and in 1809 he was awarded £10,000. He retired to a farm where he applied his invention up abilities towards improving machinery used in agriculture. Edmund died October 30, 1823 in Hastings, United Kingdom. And here's the work cited. In the 1760s, two new machines, the spinning jenny and the water frame, caused a revolution in the textile industry because both machines markedly sped up the process of making thread for weaving. These machines were adapted to use the power of flowing water or hydraulic power. This means that the motion of the water would turn a wheel that was connected by a complicated system of pulleys and belts used to run the machines. Another machine called the spinning mule was developed later in the 1700s. When it was hooked up to water power, just one person could do the work of 3,000 hand spinners. The new textile machines were extremely efficient at producing the fine thread needed to make high quality cloth, and they caused the cottage spinning industry to collapse soon after they were introduced. A little later, mechanized power looms were developed that used water power instead of human muscle power to weave thread into cloth. One important invention adapted to power weaving from hand looms was a mechanized version of the flying shuttle seen here. This was a special device used to rapidly weave a cross thread through the webs of thread on the loom. On power looms, this process took place at an incredible speed when compared to doing it by hand. It is not surprising that the much more efficient power looms rapidly ended the cottage weaving industry. In England in 1811, unemployed home textile workers called the Luddites got so angry about losing their jobs that they rioted and tried to destroy the new textile machines. <laughs> 